Today we are out in Conroe, Texas. This is a local track to me. This is downtown Three Palms Motocross Park. They have five different tracks here. There's a lot of options to ride, a lot of cool things to do. So stay tuned, let's check it out, and let's get some ride footage of all the different tracks they have. GP track is the track that's in the back corner. It's not the way back track, that's the woods track. We'll get to that one in a minute. But the GP track is probably one of my favorite tracks in the area. I love the flow of the track. It's usually very well groomed. They did get some rain last night, so they spent some extra time on today. Uh, it does get rutted because it is still soft, but with the rain and the grooming, it's actually in really decent shape. They do a good job out here. track as they call it is in the way back of the property. It's actually a pretty decent track for beginners to get started on, somebody that's just fresh new to dirt bikes. There's no jumps, there are some ups and downs and some turns, some berms. Um, right now it is a bit wet, you'll see out there from the video that uh, there's some puddles, so be cautious. Uh, obviously take a sight lap, it's your first time out there, but it's a good way to practice. It's a good little uh, beginner track. This is the kids track, very well maintained track, however this track can be a bit intimidating for brand new kids. My children are a bit scared off by this track, but this is a great track for somebody who's on the faster 50s, 65. I think my kids could do it, but they just don't like the way that the jumps look. A little dude out there on a CRF 50. He's so deep in ruts that his axle was on the ground. Take back what I said about the GP track being my favorite. That sand track, the river track, amazing. Really good workout, really good flow. I really like that track. I think of all the tracks here, the river track is one of my favorites. 
Um, it is one that they don't open all the time. So check on their Facebook page, make sure that they list which tracks are open. They post out there virtually every time they're open. They say which tracks are open when. So keep an eye on their social media, whether it be Instagram or Facebook, they do a pretty good job at that. So here on the main track, this is the Lucas Oil main track. There are time schedules for who can ride when. It's based on this clock, which is color coded. Blue section is for big bikes, yellow section is for 85s, and orange section is for small bikes, 50 cc's and 60 cc's. So keep that in mind when you're coming over here. Uh, take note of the clock. It's funny as that clock is definitely not working. So looking at my watch, it is now time for the red section, or orange section, which is small bikes. So I will have to come back in about 20 minutes if I'm to ride with the big bikes. 20 minutes later. things to note uh, they do accept credit cards they do accept cash um, they do require a membership it is either a daily membership for seven dollars or an annual membership for twenty five dollars and then it's thirty five dollars to ride those are the prices as of today uh, please check their website linked below they're very good about putting information like pricing out there on the website so that'll keep you up to date on that um, you can sign the waivers online not necessary you can always sign it on paper as well you can park virtually anywhere on the property. Um, being as there are so many different tracks, you can park in the middle and then have as easy access to all of them. Or if you're just gonna ride there with your kids, you can park right in front of the kids track. Uh, that's totally up to you. There's not required parking spaces. There are electrical hookups by the main track. There are some electrical hookups by the kids track. Those I believe are just 110. Check with the front desk when you first check in. If you do have a camper and want to camp and hook up, they'll tell you which direction to go and if there's a cost involved in that. For the price point, I think they're spot on. Um, they charge $35 a day to ride. I think that's very fair. Even with the membership fee that's required to ride, either the seven or the $25 per year. Um, if you go more than three times a year, it's worth doing the, the annual pass versus the seven time, $7 per ride. But even then, that's $42. That's pretty good. You've got access to five tracks if you include the kids track. And they're all good tracks. And they're all fun to ride and very well maintained. They put a lot into the property. You can clearly tell they care about it and they care about the sport. So it's, it's worth it. The track itself is about 40 minutes from my house. I feel like driving distance, it's 
probably a three hour to maybe a three and a half hour track. I, I think that it's worth a decent drive because of the number of tracks, because of the quality of the maintenance and the care of the property. I think that it's worth that. Met some guys who've been out there quite a few times, a lot more than I have, so I asked them some questions. Uh, apparently, the rain, we got more than we expected or more than they expected, and it was very wet out there. It's not usually that wet. I have not been to Three Palms in about a year, so going in, it's good to hear that that's not typically how it is. They did groom it. The track maintenance was on point. They groomed it this morning before they opened, and they groomed it around two o'clock in the afternoon. So they were out there with the bulldozer, knocking down all the ruts, making it nice and smooth again for everybody else who's still there for the afternoon. Always good to see that.